No, Ken, I can't recall what sleep feels like. Do in time for laundry. Victory! <laughs> so Good morning, guys. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day. This child, this child slept for 11 hours after the wedding last night. I was like shocked. I woke up this morning and I was like, what just happened? And I assumed that Ken must have woken up to take care of her at some point in the middle of the night, but he hadn't. And I was like, I have not slept that much in 14 months. This kid never ever sleeps. And I was thinking to myself, you know, thinking about Irene versus Rosalind, like no wonder I was so much perkier with Rosalind. It was so much easier for me to film and that kind of thing because I feel like a completely different person after having slept for four, or well, no, I didn't sleep for 11 hours. She slept for 11 hours, but I got like probably nine hours of sleep last night. It was incredible. And Rosalind used to sleep through the night almost immediately. So I feel so spoiled. I turned to Ken. It was like Frodo to Sam when they're on, you know, Mount Doom or whatever. And he's like, do you remember the taste of strawberries? And he's like, no, Sam, I can't recall the taste of strawberries. That's how I felt. I was like, no, Ken, I can't recall what sleep feels like. So anyways, um, we are back home now and um, I'm very refreshed. We just got the video live and Rosin was so cute this morning. She woke up and was like, I said, how did you sleep? And she said, good, I had a good dream. And I said, what did you dream? And she said, Micah said yes at the dance. And I was like, oh, it melts my little heart. Do you wanna say good morning? Yes, you're so cute. Um, anyways, Ken has, a, Ken has a training this afternoon, but I am going to go to the gym, which I didn't really think this through. I just like got ready and did all my makeup and now I'm gonna to go to the gym, so. Whatever. You go when you have time, right? So, um, I'm gonna do that, and then... I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna look like. We shall see. Um, Irene normally, like, we have childcare at our gym, so normally I, I bring the girls there, but Irene really does not like being watched. Um, so fortunately, since Ken's off, she's gonna get to stay here, because it doesn't always go well. So hopefully she'll be good for Dada. I don't know. Do you think, Ken, do you think that Irene will be good for you while I'm gone? I have no idea. I think she's nice for all your time. Yeah, she's, hi Apollo. She's still getting used to even Ken watching her, which is just really, really rough. It's one of those things that's, uh, again, different kids are different. That's been different about Irene versus Rosalind. But um, I'm gonna, Apollo, you are so cute. I'm gonna go change and work out. So Irene fell asleep right before I left. So um, Ken stayed home with the kids and I am going to the gym. We joined the gym um, about like a month ago and I was going um, five times a week or so, five or six times a week um, because the gym has childcare. And you know, it's very different to be a stay at home mom than it is to be a working mom. And I don't think I've talked very much about this, but Irene is a much more difficult child than Roslyn was. And I hesitate to use those words. I always try to say Roslyn was just an incredibly easy baby and I think Irene's a normal baby. But the reality is, you know, today is the first day in almost 14 months that I've slept a normal amount of sleep, which is a lot of babies don't sleep. Um, but it wasn't until she was like one really that I could even leave her with Ken and it doesn't go well, but we've just started doing it because I feel like I'm starting to lose my mind. So um, the gym here has childcare. And so I've been going almost every single day basically because I just need like 20 minutes alone. And for me, it's not really even about the workout. It's, you know, I, I literally am just like, I just want like 20 minutes by myself and a chance to shower alone kind of thing. I mean, I can use the workout, the workout is good, but for me, I'm like, I need the gym to be like an emotionally and mentally healthy place um, because there have been times in my life where working out was not the healthiest for me. And so I'm like, I'm focusing mostly on just like, I want the gym to be something that I do for myself and that makes me feel good. And so 
um, the gym has been, I've been taking it very, very gentle and very easy at the gym because honestly, Ken and I haven't really worked out since Irene's been born. And so like neither of us are in very good shape. And so I'm like very, very slowly trying to build towards it because again, for me, I want it to be a mentally healthy place before I focus so much on it being like a physically healthy place. Um, so literally I'm just like walking on the elliptical or whatever, but I love it. And this last week I haven't been able to go because Irene has had hand, foot and mouth, which is super contagious. And so I wasn't able to take her to childcare. And I'd say about 50% of the time the childcare ends up calling me back because Irene can't handle it. She just screams and screams and screams. Um, but I figure she'll get used to it if we just keep doing it. But since Ken's home for the summer, I figure, and she was already asleep, I figured, well, I can go today anyways, even without the childcare. And Roslyn really, really loves it. So anyways, I'm going to go work out. I don't know if I'm going to film the actual workout because honestly, I don't want to lose the camera and I don't know if I'm allowed to film in there, but I will bring you with me and we shall see. And um, yeah, let's, uh, let's go work out guys. Um, anyone who's a stay at home parent, I would really encourage you guys, if you're considering to do a gym with childcare, to do it because seriously, I think it's been like the healthiest, best thing that I've done for myself. I've talked before a little bit about how lonely it can be um, to be a stay at home parent, especially in a new city. And I don't know why I keep saying new city. We've lived here for like, almost a year, but I still, it's just very hard to make friends. Um, and it's very easy to just never leave your house when you're a stay at home parent. And so this has been so, so good. So if you're thinking about it, I'd really encourage you to do it. We, we weren't sure about the budget for it. And Ken was like, let's just budget it as if it's a health cost instead of thinking of it as like an extra or like entertainment kind of cost he's like no we're gonna budget it like we would doctor's visits and honestly it will probably save us money in the long run so just a thought that was awesome I actually took it kind of slow and easy I forgot not only have I not gone because Irene had hand foot and mouth but I had injured my back um, a few weeks back and so it actually had been longer than I had remembered it being um, but anyways, 90% of why I go is so I can shower alone. So um, Dewey does commented on the vlog two days ago saying that, because I was complaining about how my bangs always pull to this side, and she was like, blow dry it the opposite direction of the cowlick. So I gave it a go, and they seem to be cooperating a little better than usual. But as is the deal with Arizona, as it gets hot, they, I start to sweat, and then it sticks to my head. So we'll see if this stays this way, but it actually, thanks Dewey does, it actually looks pretty good, I think. Um, honestly, I just like being able to shower by myself. It's so nice. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to head back home because Ken needs to do um, his, he has like a training today and I think he wanted to do some lesson planning and stuff um, this morning. So I'm gonna head back home. Might stop and grab something to eat on the way and um, hopefully Irene will still be sleeping when I get there and she'll never know that I, I even left her with daddy in the first place. So was Irene okay while I was gone? She, so you went to sleep, right? And well, I didn't go to sleep, I went to the gym. She went to sleep and I thought she was gonna be a terror, but she slept the whole time pretty much. Like, <laughs> she woke up like 10 minutes before you got home. I was a little fussy and I changed her diaper and played with her and she was fine after that. Victory! <laughs> so, so where are you off to? I am off to uh, work, actually. Um, I signed up for a curriculum, not curriculum, um, an assessment analysis. So I'm on the team that's going to look over the, like, geometry math problems that the district uses for, like, the district-wide final exam and basically go, this is a good problem, you should keep it, or, like, this is not a good problem. Like, you need to not use this problem. It's a terrible problem, so um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I think I know a lot of people are like, that sounds so boring, looking over math problems and analyzing them, but I, I actually find it quite fascinating. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to it. But I'm running late, and I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, so I am cutting it really close right now. I do not know if I'm gonna make it on time or not. I am fairly certain I'm not gonna be on time, <laughs> but Let's let's see what happens. Okay, I am officially late. I did not make it here on time, so hopefully I don't get into too much trouble. Um, we'll see. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. Okay, so I uh, walked in about ten minutes late, 
um but it was okay it was okay it worked out pretty well um i just i missed out the paperwork in the beginning so i just had to stay late afterwards for like 10 minutes to make up the paperwork so it worked out okay um i obviously couldn't film when i was talking about test questions that's not okay uh but i am uh done now i'm gonna head home i think um and see uh what's going on at home text heidi and maybe we can swing by some Starbucks or something and perhaps get some Poke Sups and some Pokeballs. I know, I know, some of you don't play this game or whatever, but I still play this game and I will keep playing it until that game dies. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go home. I hope I hope the kids have been okay for Heidi. Um, they, they were starting to scream a little bit when I left and it was like a, baby sister took my toy. Ah! And then I was like, okay, let me buy and like left. So um, let's let's see what happens with them. We are too in time for laundry and Rosalind just collect. She collected all the wipes and just threw them in that container. Um, and now I've got to separate out the flats, which I've been absolutely ah. loving from Rosalind. What is this? This is a normal insert. Can you put the normal insert over there in this pile? What? Put this right here. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for your help. Okay, so we're just going to do that from here on. I just called Heidi. She said things are going okay, but I should get home because she's cooking dinner. So um, I will not be swinging by Starbucks. Uh, but there was a pokey stop by my work, so I got that instead. Okay, let's go home. Hello, Bucks. I am home. I did not end up going to uh, get a bunch of pokey stops. Instead, I came home because Heidi is cooking a lovely meal for us. And this one has been having a hard time slipping and falling in some water that Rosalyn left behind in the floor. But that's okay. Okay, she's fine now. Slipping and falling is kind of her thing, in case you weren't aware. Please, but I, she's all calm now. I was supposed to time it perfectly, which is why I was like, Kenny, you need to come home right now because I timed it so literally when you walked in, food would have been ready. But I made steak and I completely messed it up. So I'm cooking chicken now. So I'm, I feel kind of bad because like our broccoli and potatoes and everything is all like done getting cold. but. I messed up the steak, so what are you going to do? But it gives me a chance to do the dishes while it's cooking, so. That may be true, but, but that's okay. I get a chance to hang out with this one. Oh, and take her away from Mama. <gasps> Say goodbye to your Mama. Say You're not going to see her anymore, at least for the next few minutes. <laughs> You're mine now. <laughs> no. Daddy, guess you can't tag me. Guess I can't tag you. I'll get you right now. <laughs> I am very slow moving because I'm holding box and baby sister. Rawr! So Ken and I tend to do a lot more cooking in the summertime when Ken is home. Um, so with that comes a lot more trips to the grocery store and hopefully better meal planning. We go in like phases where we do really, really good with meal planning and really, really not good. And when we do do well with meal planning, we eat healthier, we are generally just like our life has more structure and most importantly it saves us a bunch of money um, because if I'm meal planning properly I really really do a good job of shopping sales so I am heading to the grocery store I've got my phone with me now if you guys have been watching uh, sudden compact for a long time you'll know that this is my trick I do a lot of uh, I will take out my calculator while I am at the grocery store and calculate what my budget is so like I know the amount of money that I'm allowed to spend uh, spend per week and then if I cap if I get over the top of that I'm like well I guess we don't really need you know usually things that we don't really need like Gatorade or you know ice cream that kind of stuff so I'll, I'll cut back on non-essentials if I am above my budget. If I'm still below my budget, I might say, hey, we've got 20 extra bucks here or something. Let's get ourselves, you know, I don't know, some random treat that we wouldn't otherwise get. So anyways, I'm off to the grocery store. I'm going grocery shopping. If you guys didn't see, we did get one of those um, grocery list things. Where did I put it? I hope I have it because we spent a lot of time like planning the meal plan around the sales and figuring out what we were going to put on the grocery list and now I can't. Okay, I got it. Good news guys. I got it. I was nervous there for a sec. Um, but I've got the grocery list with me and um, we're going to pick up some stuff. So I just got done at the grocery store and it takes so much longer to do it this way 
but it's worth it. Like, it took me a lot longer to grocery shop than I normally do, but I saved $30. My budget was 100 and I only spent 70 And honestly, it will last us the week. I just never, ever, ever buy things that aren't on sale when I actually meal plan. When I don't, I'll spend 200 a week easily. So I'm gonna be better about it because it ends up saving us a lot of money. So we just finished putting our groceries away and both the kids are asleep, so yeah. we are enjoying some secret ice cream. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't tell. And um, we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And we don't say this often enough, but hit the bell next to the subscribe button. We yes, just, that's how you know we're, we're posting. We're yeah, posting it's not again. just that. Like, if you get a notification from getting that bell, and you click on it, and you go straight to us first, YouTube really likes that. And it, it ranks us higher in the algorithms, and it helps you get notifications, mm -hmm. and also helps us do a little bit better, too. So that helps us out a lot when you hit the bell. So, go ahead and hit the bell. It's up. Nope. It's down right next to the subscribe button. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, guys.